Welcome to Chapter 3 of our thrilling tale. The air is thick with tension as four brave souls stand at the threshold of a mysterious bookshop. The dim lighting casts eerie shadows, and the once familiar aisles now loom like corridors of fear. Each shadow is a reminder of the battles they have yet to face. The bookshop itself seems alive, whispering secrets to those daring enough to listen. Join us as we delve into this chapter, where courage and unity will be tested against the darkness within. As Clara Wren, Jasper Flint, Lydia Thorne, and Theo step inside the bookshop, the atmosphere thickens. The scent of old paper mingles with the metallic tang of steam, creating a heady mix that fills their lungs. Clara feels a surge of determination, a flicker of courage igniting within her chest. She turns to her friends, their faces illuminated by the flickering gas lamps, and feels a sense of unity that has grown stronger through their shared experiences. We can do this, Clara says, her voice steady despite the tremor in her hands. Jasper nods, his bravado returning as he adjusts the leather straps of his jacket. While Lydia takes a deep breath, her vintage dress swirling around her like a protective cloak. Together, they move deeper into the labyrinth, where the walls seem to close in, shadows stretching and twisting as if alive. Suddenly, the ground trembles beneath them, and from the depths of the bookshop emerges the ruling class, their eyes glinting with malice. Clara's heart races as she recognizes the leader of the ruling class, a figure cloaked in darkness, who had once whispered promises of power and control. You think you can rewrite your narratives? The figure sneers, a cruel smile curling on their lips. Fear is a powerful tool, and I will use it to bend you to my will. In that moment, Clara feels the weight of her past pressing down on her, the shadowy figure of her childhood looming behind her. But she stands tall, her friends flanking her, their presence a shield against the encroaching darkness. No! Clara shouts, her voice echoing through the aisles. We will not be your puppets. With a surge of courage, Clara faces her shadow, the embodiment of her fear of abandonment. The figure flickers, its form shifting as Clara recalls the warmth of her friend's support. You do not own me, she declares, stepping forward, her heart pounding with newfound strength. Jasper, emboldened by Clara's defiance, confronts the mechanical beast, his hand steady as he wields a wrench like a sword. Failure is just a step towards success, he shouts, charging at the creature with fierce determination. Lydia, her heart racing, faces the swirling mist that had haunted her dreams. I embrace the unknown, she cries, her voice rising above the chaos. The mist hesitates, swirling in confusion as Lydia steps forward, her curiosity transforming into a weapon of light. Theo, standing beside her, confronts his mirror image, the reflection of his insecurities. I am enough, he shouts, his voice breaking through the glassy facade. The battle rages on, a cacophony of clashing metal and the roar of steam filling the air. The bookshop reacts to their emotions, the shelves shifting and rearranging, creating a dynamic battlefield. As the dust settles, the friends emerge victorious, their hearts pounding with adrenaline and triumph. They have rewritten their narratives, reclaiming their agency in a world that sought to control them. The bookshop, once a place of fear, now stands as a testament to their courage and unity. Clara looks at her friends, their faces illuminated by the warm glow of the gas lamps, and feels a sense of belonging that she had longed for. They are no longer just individuals battling their fears. They are a force to be reckoned with, ready to face whatever lies ahead. Thank you for joining us in Chapter 3 of this thrilling journey. Stay tuned for more adventures with Storyteller.